Hi friends, I want to talk to you today a little bit about the difference between being an ambassador for the kingdom and a spy. Um, we read about ambassadors that take the power and the authority of their nation to a foreign place to represent their kingdom. Just like Paul says in 2 Corinthians 5, Now then, we are ambassadors for Christ. As though God were pleading through us, we implore you on Christ's behalf, be reconciled to God. And we also read in uh, 1 Peter that Peter encourages the believers to always be ready to have a defense for anyone who asks us about the hope within us. That's the position of an ambassador to represent the kingdom. On the other hand, there's a picture of the spy. Just like Joshua sent two spies into the land to secretly gather intelligence, to gather information about the people that live there and their cities and their lifestyles and mindsets and to bring that information back to the camp so that they could strategize for victory. Now I want to share with you a conversation I had recently with a fellow religious Jewish student at university and we were talking about the third temple, when it would come, what it would look like and I was sharing with him from Ezekiel but he actually surprisingly said, I don't think that will happen. The world isn't willing to accept a building like that being set up on the Temple Mount with sacrifices being offered in the place of the Dome of the Rock. And instead, he said he sees in the future something like a world justice center that maybe UNESCO would set up with a place for Islam, Judaism, Christianity, a harmony of all religions together in some sort of counterfeit unity and harmony. And my instant reaction was, Lord, this is such deception. How can it be that he thinks that this is what the, we're waiting for? This is the Messiah who will come and bring a false harmony of all religions together in the Temple Mount. Um, and although my immediate reaction wasn't to argue with him or to convince him of his misled beliefs, Afterwards, I realized that in that situation, I was called to be a spy, to actually listen to his heart and to gather the information and to bring it back to a place of intercession before the Lord. And that's okay. It's wisdom and discernment that the Holy Spirit gives us in every situation to hear his heart and whether we're supposed to be actively persuading people and presenting the gospel as ambassadors of the kingdom or whether our place is to be more of a silent listening and receiving the information to take back to intercede for these people before the Lord. So I wanna just encourage you, first of all, to be discerning with the Holy Spirit in every encounter that we go through. What is our position? Is it a spy or an ambassador before the Lord? And let's continue to intercede for the Jewish people that their eyes will be opened to recognize the true Messiah and not wait for a false one.